hi there everyone and welcome to this video in this video we're going to talk through how we can change one of our existing report layouts um, within business central so what we're going to do is um, change the sales invoice layout um, just a little bit to uh, we're going to we're going to modify the layout itself um, and we're just going to show you how we can generate that modified layout from within bc Okay, so let's get into it. What I'm going to do here is search for a page called Report Layouts. Um, so it's very similar in principle to what we would do when we're generating um, an Excel layout report. So uh, those of you that have done that before, yes, will be um, familiar with this. Uh, but if I go into one of my um, sales invoice layouts here, so I'm just going to pick the um, sales invoice word. I've got a few different layouts here, I guess, for, for different things. Um, I've got the email layout, VAT specification layout, and so on. But I'm just going to go with the standard sales invoice here, okay? Um, and what I'm going to do is, whilst highlighting this line, I'm going to go in and say export layout. Now, what that will do is it will give me a download. Here it is. Um, of my standard sales invoice layout. Okay, so this layout has now been exported into Word over here. And let me just open that file. And whilst that's opening, why are we using um, an exported layout from one that already exists in the system? Well, it's just because we don't want to go and design the um, invoice layout from scratch, okay? Um, you could, if you want to, just start by using a fresh document, um, but we maybe can do another video for, for that one, but for today, it's just gonna be how to modify an existing layout, okay? So this is the report layout for the standard sales invoice that we've got, so we've just exported it, and just to explain what is on screen right now, it's basically, um, a standard sales invoice layout and the fields that you can see here basically point to different areas of the system to pull back data from for example customer address one two three four five six seven eight and the same for our company address i've got an area here for the sales invoice lines to be generated the total for my invoice and so on i won't go through it all okay um and you probably already guessed it but this is um basically within Microsoft Word. So any changes that you make here would be made in the same way that you would change any other Word document. So you can just literally go in and type things if you want to. Um, you can add in um, the developer area here where you can go in and add fields or remove fields um, based on those fields within Business Central. Um, we will do another video on that one, but for today, let's focus on just changing this layout. Okay, so what I'm going to do just to show you what's possible is right at the very, what I'm going to do here on uh, the uh, very end of the document is I'm just going to paste uh, an image, which is the Business Central logo that I've downloaded from uh, online. Okay, so I can resize that. I can basically use this Word document in exactly the way that I would use any other Word document. And I've just added in, the only change that I've made is that Business Central logo, okay? So what we can go ahead and do now is save this document and I'll close it down. And what I'm gonna do is just create a new invoice layout here, okay? So I'm gonna create a new report layout rather based on report 1306. So let me go new. It tells me the report ID is 1306. The layout name, let's say invoice with BC logo, again invoice with BC logo, and let me go in and say that's um, a word layout, and um, I'm going to say it's available in all companies. And I'm going to say we don't want to create a blank layout from the report object because we've already got the layout that we've uh, we've just had up on screen. Now, if I go ahead and say OK, it's going to give me a box in which I can uh, drag a file or I can click through and upload the um, layout which we just modified in Word. So I'm just going to import that layout that we modified in Word. 
and once that's imported you'll see we've got a new line in here which has got the description in it which we uh, identified when we created the new record so I've got my invoice with BC logo here and I can use the run report function up at the top here but what I'm going to do is let me go back and go into my posted sales invoices and I'm just going to print one of the invoices here okay and you'll see here that I do have the um, report layout section here it's currently set to standard sales invoice word um, I can change that up here um, but if I show you I can also go to another page here called report selection sales and I can go in and on my invoice section here I can change the report layout just extend this out so it's currently set to report layout standard sales invoice word I'll drill into that and I'll choose invoice with BC logo so the uh, the layout that we just imported and now when I go back and try and print that invoice again you'll see the selected report layout is invoice with BC logo but as I said guys here you can drill into that and you can change there to whichever layout you want anyway okay um, and let me say preview now so if I go ahead and say preview I've got my invoice and there is the BC logo that we added within the Word document okay and I'll just show you that again if I go and change the report layout this time let's change it back to standard sales invoice Word and if I go ahead and say preview this time I can't scroll down anymore we've just got one page and that's because there is no BC logo because I selected the standard sales invoice word layout okay um, and really guys that's everything that I wanted to show you so that's how you can modify your um, document layouts within Business Central um, we will do another video um, in which we create that layout from scratch so there's nothing in the document to begin with and we can mock up um, a sales invoice or a PO or whichever report from the ground up but I hope that was useful guys give it a go in a test environment first please and uh, reach out if you have any issues guys thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one